Somewhat. Huh? Um, in a minute, yeah. Hi. What? I just want to see your office. Can I go off What are you reviewing? What are you reviewing? The movie we watched, uh, Sid and Nancy. Okay. 1986. Um, movie about Sid Vicious. Um, he was the bass player in the Sex Pistols. Um, it's played by Gary Oldman, and Gary Oldman lost like a million pounds to be Sid Vicious, and he's like ridiculously skinny. And but the performance is so good, like I forgot that it was Gary Oldman because he does such a great job. I think he got like a some kind of thing for it. I don't know if it's an award or a, I don't know, but it's really good. Um, I remember seeing Courtney Love in like two scenes, two or three scenes. Um, this is before she had all her surgeries, so she looks a lot different. But it's definitely her. I know it. So the story starts off with. Um, it begins how it ends, but only like for the first 10 minutes, so, but then it starts rolling into how the Sex Pistols were created as band, and like, you know, they were all cool and they're very punk, punkish. The whole, the whole story takes place in London, uh, in 1975, I think. So yeah, they're a group and everything's cool, and Sid Vicious gets introduced to... So this is just the bass player for the Sex Pistols, and he gets introduced to this woman called Nancy Spunden, and she's the devil or something. She's a huge um, um, heroin junkie and like a bunch of other stuff, and he likes her and like they like each other, and they're all together, and but it's causing problems for the band, and this is all a true story, so it's not like it's a crazy thing. <coughs> if I stand back here, the lighting is a lot better. Anyway, nobody likes this Nancy girl in the band, and um, she kind of causes this, a lot of conflicts and arguments, and the band ends up breaking up, of course. And Sid and Nancy are still together, he tries to go solo for a while, and the story ends how it goes in real life. Um, there's been a lot of, like, controversy of how um, it, the end really ends in real life. I don't want to ruin it if you don't know this, the, the true story. Um, but it, it's a sad movie, you know, it's depressing, but it's accurate and it's good. Um, there's this one part about, with the controversial part is because a lot of people, some people say that someone did something and then some people say it didn't. They, some people say that it happened one way, and other people say it happened another way. But I think the way it happened in the movie was probably how it was happening in real life. Um, anyway, it's really good. The performances are really good. Um, it, it's a depressing movie, and it's sad. So I wouldn't recommend watching it if you're in a if you're having a really good day, you know, don't go watch this movie, but if you're kind of in a chill mood, um, I'd watch it and then maybe follow it with a happy movie or a funny movie. Cause yeah. There's a lot of uh sex pistols music in it. Um <clears throat> the lights are flickering. Um yeah, there's a lot of music in it. It sounds like they use the original tracks, so if you like their music, another one, another plus point for you to watch it. I don't know. <laughs> there's not much you could say. It just pretty much follows the story of the lights flickering. It pretty much follows the story of, you know, what happened in real life. It's a true story, so... Yeah. I, I like movies that are true stories, even if they're sad, because they're true ish anyway that's pretty much all I'm gonna say today's Wednesday W for Wednesday <laughs> see you next week